Let's hear from both sides of the aisle with Sinclair political commentator Amisha Cross and member of the President's National Security Education Board, host of America First on Salem Radio and Sinclair Media contributor, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Before we get to you guys, this happened a couple hours ago. The Trump campaign is clearly, clearly going to take this, going to put this in the hands of the lawyers. Take a listen to Eric Trump earlier. We've declared victory in Pennsylvania. We're up by 400,000 votes. With 86% of the precincts in, 86% we have Republican votes still coming in from Trump country. And the Democrats know that the only way that they can win this election is to cheat in Pennsylvania. And we've seen it from day one. We've seen it from day one. We found ballots in drainage ditches. They're not letting our poll watchers watch the polls. They're not letting them inside. There's video after video of them passing out collateral material in polling sites all over Philadelphia. They're trying to cheat. They're trying to cheat. All right, Sebastian, let's go to you first on this. I, I, leading into this, you know, all this talk about cheating and voter fraud, it bothered me. It felt like this is some sort of way of easing the, the, the impact if one side or the other, both said it might be happening, one side or the other lost. But this really feels odd. I'll give you one more statistic. In Wisconsin, the, the numbers are in almost 90% of the electorate voted. That's almost statistically impossible, Sebastian. Yeah, look, let's look at the things that we already know, Eric. Uh, just today, we hear, heard the news of two United States postal workers arrested for destroying, um, destroying mail-in ballots. We have the recent case in Texas where three Democrat Party officials were charged with 30 nine felonies 39 felonies in one case of election tampering and election fraud but we just want to ensure one thing you've played the sort you played the, the the clip of joe biden saying all votes must be counted no joe biden only the legitimate votes should be counted what kind of country do we live in eric is this outer mongolia is this turkmenistan where four count them four states are going, trending towards the president, to the incumbent, and then in the middle of the counting last night, they stop counting them? What? Does everybody go to bed at 9.30 in Pennsylvania? It's a joke. We are the only nation to put 12 men on the moon, six United States flags are on the moon, but, but we have to stop counting at, at 9.30. There's only one reason that the counting stopped, because the president was winning. And, and Amisha, what do you what do you think? What do you? I'll let you respond to that. But it really does bother me as an American. 330 or 40 million people here, the most prosperous nation on the planet, 20 trillion dollar GDP economy, and we're still playing. We can't we can't count a ballot. We can't count ballots. Well, talk to us a little bit about what you're seeing from your side of the aisle. Well, the ballots are being counted. And just last night, we heard President Trump declare a victory where he could not declare one. All of the ballots, there were still millions of ballots left un uncounted or in Pennsylvania specifically. And we saw him, you know, call out states uh, before any news organization was calling them out. This is the same president who also argued that, you know, there was a extreme amount of voter fraud trying to stop people from early voting, trying to stop people from mail-in ballots. What we know is that all of Trump's rhetoric around the dangers of mail-in ballots and early voting only pushed Democrats to get out and do it more. So we knew, Democrats knew and weren't extremely afraid. The Biden campaign knew and wasn't extremely afraid. You know, that once but, those but Amisha, votes were counted, but, but, that things would start to but, change. And as I told you yesterday, the Midwestern states were going to be the core for yeah, Joe but, but, Biden. But, but and we Amisha, saw that with just the break Hear me out here. So last night, when the voting was when the voting stopped for some odd reason, good people didn't want to work. Even though we we, we wait four years to elect the most powerful human being on the planet, uh, to 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 clearly the most important job on the planet. But we're going to take the night off from counting votes. President Trump had about a six or seven hundred thousand vote lead. Now, whether there's funny business or not going on, I don't know. I'm not there. I will tell you, though, it opens up the possibility for it, and it certainly opens up the suspicious side of the people who are losing will suspect the people who are willing, uh, winning of shenanigans. It, what, what why we why do we do this? Why don't we just <laughs> stop voting at midnight on November 3rd or first Tuesday after the, fir the Tuesday after the first Monday 
of every fourth year. Well, we did stop voting. We didn't stop counting the ballots. I think that we had we had a President Trump last night who literally called out, then tweeted about wanting the ballot counts to be stopped when he felt like he was up and winning before other counties came in. So this is a president who's speaking out of both sides of his mouth. It's just like a football, a football team, a football coach calling the end of a game after there's the first touchdown. No, you can't I, no, do that. No, we no, wait. I'm not giving you that. End. I'm not giving you that because when that clock stops and the bell buzzer rings, the game is over, Sebastian. It's more like this, that stupid game soccer that they play in England. You think the game is over, and then the referees have a secret extra time, and no one in the stadium knows when the game's over. That's what it feels like here. Maybe the game's over after the other team catches up. I played rugby, a real man sport. <laughs> uh, look, l let's be clear here. The Misha's being disingenuous. The president didn't say, stop all counting now. He said, stop the counting by Democrat officials in Democrat states that have refused. Let's remember what has happened in Pennsylvania. They have refused to allow the legally mandated outside observers to come and watch the counting. What have you got to hide, Pennsylvania? Why won't you allow the legally mandated officials to watch the count? Because you want to steal it. It's, an, it's as outrageous as what happened at, what was it, 11 o'clock at night? when Fox calls Arizona with 650,000 votes out and not counted yet. This is a mockery of our republic, and it's got to stop, and the people who are cheating it, have got to be it, identified. And again, Amisha, I'm, gonna, I'm not saying that any, any funny business is going on, but it does seem odd, and it opens it up for scrutiny when the four states that are really slow walking this have been uh, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Michigan, and guess what? all Democrat governors. Yeah. These are states that have some of the highest early vote and ballot totals that we've seen across the country and the highest level of percentage of those who are actually voting that this nation has ever seen. So none of this is actually surprising. These are very large states with hundreds of thousands of people who are voting for the very first time. This isn't surprising. This is a mark of an America that's tired of the status quo and wants to see Trump out. So Every why can Florida do it? Count. Why, right, can, what, why can Florida do it? A much larger state. 930, we got the results. How can Florida do it? Florida Florida wasn't gonna, close. Listen, let's, I'll tell you what, that's a good tease for the panel coming back later in the show.